Hello! In the previous episode, we added a few buttons by pressing which we send messages in Telegram via the API. We send messages either in a group, chat, or directly into your inbox. And now we're going to go deeper and send transactional messages using Telegram. So, for example, when a user uh, creates a post or edits a post or deletes a post, uh, either this user or a general chat can receive a notification about this transaction, about something that happened in your application. So let's uh, do it. First of all, let's create a table named posts. So I will say uh, get status. There are no changes to commit. And I will say Rails generate scaffold. We will have post with title and content. That will be text. Okay. Let's create our posts, but just to have a clean scaffold, I'm going to add some additional helpers. So I will go to a post named how to write better generators and add these extensions. I will say uh, no helpers, no assets, no controllers, packs, no views, packs, and so on. So that we generate only the most necessary things for our scaffold, only the routes, views, controllers, and models and migration. Okay, we've generated the scaffold. Let's run Rails DB migrate. And go to our views and in layouts in the application, kind of create a small header and add a link to our uh, posts. So above yield, I will say link to posts, posts path. Let's see if it works. Okay, so here we have a link to our posts. And actually we can remove our Telegram API key from here that we added just as an example. So here we have a global link to our posts. And if we navigate to the posts, we can create a new post. Let's create a new post with some kind of content. And we're going to add the functionality so when a post is created, edited or deleted, we will receive a notification about this in Telegram. So now we have created our posts and let's just save our changes. I will actually also add a link to the home page. We'll have a link to posts and to the root path. Okay, now I will save. Git status, git add all, git commit main, scaffold posts. Good. And now we're going to create a mailer. Let's create a mailer and see how it's going to work. So I will say Rails generate mailer, Telegram mailer, and done. And we will see that in our views, we have a new view named Telegram mailer that is currently empty. And if we go into our uh, app, we'll see that we have mailers, and inside of mailer, we have application mailer and Telegram mailer. And inside this Telegram mailer, we're going to create an action to send messages. So this way, our sending of the messages will be more reusable. We will not have to have an action in our home controller. We will just invoke the Telegram mailer. Now, how is it going to work? We will have the Telegram mailer that will have something like def uh, send group message and and here we are going to have the HTTP party request. So all this code. And then we are going to be able to invoke it in a controller. So we can go to our controllers, to our post control that we have just created. And here, for example, after the post is created and after the post is saved, we will have uh, the possibility to invoke the mailer, something like telegram mailer dot deliver now, let's see if this actually works. I will go to posts. Now I will first start the server, of course. Now I will go to posts, new post, some title, some content, and create post. And we have an undefined method deliver now. Okay, because we didn't say which action in the Telegram mailer. And the action is named send group message. So telegram mailer dot send group message dot deliver now. Let's see if this works. I resend. 
and voila, we managed to send the message. Now let's customize the message for this specific uh, create action. Let's say that the message will say that uh, a post with some specific title has been created. Now for this, we can add uh, some customizable text. For example, we will say text uh, equals, uh, and here we will say uh, post created. Okay, and here we will input the text. And in the send group message, we will have text. And instead of the message text here, we will have uh, text just here. So we pass the text like this. From the controller, in the controller we have a text here, we pass the text into the action, the action finds the text here, and we pass it in the JSON. Let's see if this works. So the text should be post created. Okay, I'll go back, new post, I will say home post here and here, and post. Let's see if it will be delivered. And I get post created. So it works perfectly. Basically, we made a reusable template for send group message that sends uh, all kind of messages into this specific group chat. And now for each uh, controller action, we can just copy this and go to update, for example, and say post updated and have the same telegram mailer. And for deleting the post, we'll have the same. We will say text equals post deleted. So let's try editing a post. Will we receive a message? Here we see post updated. Let's go back and delete a post. And we got a message post deleted. So it all works. Now we can also pass some kind of variables into these texts. For example, let's say post created and uh, display the title of the post. We will say at post dot title. Okay. And let's uh, type new post and say uh, great post, hooray, and create the post. And will be delivered, you see, post created, great post. So we managed to pass a variable. Now we can even pass something like a Telegram username and it will also be recognized. Let's say at Yaro the Slav. This might be my username. I will create a new post. Create post. And you see, I created the post and the user with this username has been tagged. Okay, looks nice. So we managed to create a Telegram mailer where we have this reusable code to send group messages. And now we can send group messages uh, for all the, the actions when the post was created, updated and deleted. Looks really good to me. Let's save our changes. Git status, git add all, git commit main, uh, telegram mailer for posts, crude actions. Okay, looks good. Okay, now let's go to our homepage and add one more possibility. We'll add a form into which any user can type uh, a message and press uh, a submit button and the message will be posted to the Telegram group. So let's uh, do it. First of all, we will go to our home index page, home index, and here we will create a new form tag. So we'll say equals form tag and it will lead to some kind of path. Let it lead to a uh, an action in the home controller. Let the action uh, uh, be called uh, def uh, say hello. And okay, so it will go to send hello path to 
send hello path. Okay, and uh, the method will be post. And we will have a do action for a block, so it will also have an end. And inside we are going to have a few additional tags. There will be a submit tag. And it's going to say, uh, say hello. And there's going to be a text field tag. So equals text field tag. And it's going to say something like content. Okay, let's see if this works. So we have a form tag, but it goes to an undefined path, send hello path. So let's uh, uh, create this path in our config, in our config roots. We will create a post to home send hello to home send hello as home as send hello like this now i will refresh and the send say hello path exists i'll just add an additional break down here okay so we have this say hello path now i can input some kind of text and the action send hello could not be found in the home controller. Yeah, because here I say send hello, and in the home controller I say say hello, well, let it be send hello. Okay, we have send hello. And uh, we, what do we do next? We have to, again, define this kind of text in the send hello uh, method. And here again, we can actually just invoke the Telegram mailer. So let's say, Telegram mailer dot send group message with a text. And here we are going to define the text. Text will equal uh, params, params uh, content. So we'll be passing this content in the params. And let's see if it works. I resend once again. Action send hello was not found. Okay, let's go back and send once again. Now here we have uh, send hello. In our index we have send hello, method post. Let's try to send something. I press say hello and nothing seems to have happened. Okay, let's uh, see why. I will once again go to the home controller and here actually I will also add a redirect to the root path and just see if something happens. I will refresh, press say hello. I was redirected, but it looks like the message not, has not been sent. Possibly we just forgot to say uh, deliver now. So as the way we did here, I will say dot deliver now and say hello once again. I press say hello. And yeah, it looks like the message has been delivered. So you see, now anybody can type any message, press say hello, and the message will be sent to the group chat in Telegram. Looks nice. Now, just to make it look a bit better, in the index, we will also add some validations so that the content cannot be nil and uh, we can't just press say hello and uh, try to send some kind of empty content. You see, it will not be sent because Telegram needs text to, as a required field. So I will say nil and required, uh, require true. Either require true or required true. Let's see, I'll press say hello. Maybe it should be required. Let's say, okay, now I need to fill in the content to be able to submit the field. So this way it looks better. So what have we done now? We have uh, added a Telegram mailer where we can send group messages and uh, we can reuse it in all kinds of uh, crude actions or not only crude actions where we want. So looks really nice to me. And of course we can do the same with sending 
private messages. But this is something that we will go deeper in in the next video. So thanks for being with me and uh, share your solutions with Telegram in the comments. And don't forget to like, comment and so on. Have a nice day.